So I'm going to take this LED strip. Ooh. So you see, I uh, don't know if you'll see that on the camera, but blurple. Blue and red makes purple. So the game plan is to recycle this, which is a 24 inch fixture. It used to be a fluorescent fixture. So step one, I guess, is going to be to clean it up. Looks like we'll have to use some isopropyl alcohol to get some of whatever the hell this is off of that. So I guess the first step is to figure out, ooh those are warm, how many times this fits across here. So if I cut one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at a time, is that the length they come in? Oh, I think so. A length of 10. So that's the connection at a length of 10. I don't know if you can see that. But it's got two little solder beads. And then the next one is here. Two little solder beads. So let's see if this has two more little solder beads right in the middle. There you go. So, if I cut this at that point over and over, should be able to put together a little light fixture. I'll be back in a sec. So, that's janky, but it works. And so, our first section of 10 and point of connection is here. We'll just cut that there, and then let's see if this just works. That would be amazing if this just works. Okay, so I feel like that glue is not going to hold, but maybe if I get it warm with the LEDs, you know, it might be more sticky. So this is the basic idea. I'll be taking strips like this, which is an equal length. And I will join them all together to make a fixture, I hope. There will be a little bit of soldering. I'm thinking I'm going to have to take this double-sided adhesive off and use something else as an adhesive. You know what? Let's see how five LEDs, five strips of LEDs goes. Now uh, this one's giving some time to warm. Seems better.
I'm feeling like sticking this down now is a bad idea, but it's really satisfying. So uh, I'm going to continue. We'll deal with the consequences. I'm just going to use this one as a spacer. Guess I'll be using all of my LED strip today. Uh, I thought I would be making a larger fixture that was less bright. However, this just seems to work out. Not too bad. This really doesn't want to stick, so that might need some glue. It seems really stuck in some places, and then other places like here. And that's a match. Time for some solder, I think. Now the difficult part. Reveal all the contacts and solder here to here, 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 and then I'm done. So uh next step. So trick is separate the waterproofing from the top by peeling it back. You could probably work on it like that. But then, if you cut that out of the way, you win. So I'm going to do all of these. I'm going to salvage some nice little red and black wire for wiring all this up from some old power supply cables. I mean, I could go out and buy stuff. 350. So I've sized the wires to just be long enough to go from one to the other. And let's hope I don't hate myself after for doing that. So plus goes to plus. If we look at this tape, which is a reference, plus goes to plus and minus goes to minus. Okay, now, way better. I have some solder. Let's get these tin. Now, if I recall correctly, I should be able to wire this thing in parallel or series, all these strips. But I'm not certain. I don't want to around. I'm just going to wire them exactly the way they were, and we'll do a little test later on to see if I can do this easier the next time around. Plus two. Oh, once again. Well, that's not good.
Wow, that's terrible. All right, so despite the terrible example of soldering, this may work. Moment of truth. Bing! All right, now to continue here to here, there to there, there to there, so on and so forth. And I will uh, show you the result when I'm done. One, two, three, four, yeah, you can count. Look at that! Ooh, disco sparkle, magical. Woo woo. Okay, so this is a recycled laptop power cord, and on such laptop recycled power cords, the outside wire is the ground. I'm gonna nip that to length, and the inner wire is your positive lead. Hot. Fuck. Okay. This is stupid. That's how close it was. Right there. I'm just an idiot. Alright. And that is a finished do-it-yourself fixture. Ta-da! Ta-da! So, again, just to go over it, a mess, you need a mess. A little 12 volt power supply. This one is 16 volts, so I guess I'm overdriving these. Oops. That's why they were running so hot. Well, now that they're on this big ass heat sink, it should be fine. Aluminum is nice and cooling. Let's, uh, let's go put it over some veggies. Oh, I did well. Stagger, 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 stagger. Duped. This strip I might have to replace because it does not want to stick the same as everyone else. Super glue. I use super glue. Let's go away before I get it on anything I don't want to get it on. Because that is the way my luck goes. Yeah, one final test. We're going to see how much she draws. But we can go do that in the other room. Oh, fucking ruining the place. Rack them. So you can see when she's giving her all, she'll suffer. We're pulling a hundred water roos. And so, I guess an update. The light seems to be working wonderfully. These peppers are growing in kind of the radiant light of what's going on, and the lettuce is going, and the herbs seem to love it. So, I'd say mission success. And it's not got any burnt out yet. I was definitely expecting to lose one or two LEDs by now. So, passed its test. Those look happy little plants.